Thanks for the support as a channel member. Unpredictable plays. Here we go then, folks. The final season of the Bourne series starts right here and hopefully culminates in a World Club Cup win at the end of the season. Um, you should probably get yourself a Bourne shirt to commemorate. Embroidered badge. Lovely stuff. They're on sale right now. They're only on sale until the end of this week. Sunday, August the 9th, 2020. That's when they go off sale forever. They will never be available again after that date. There's no point having the shirts on sale when the series has ended. So if you want a Bourne shirt, now you know who's who are the stars of the series. And now you know to get Serna Jackie 16 on the back or um, Gomez 17 if you want your Christian Gomez shirt or whoever your favourite player has been from the series. We're getting another, another run of shirts in right at the end so that you can get your favourite's name and number on the back. Let me know down in the comments who you're getting and the... Uh, the link is down in the description if you want to grab yourself a shirt. Hello and welcome to part 159 of Born Again. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have our first game of the Premier League season at home against Liverpool. Actually, our third competitive game in a row against Liverpool. Champions League final, Community Shield and now Premier League um, it's currently one win for us in the Champions League final, a draw with a penalty shootout win for Liverpool in the Community Shield. Hopefully, it doesn't turn into a defeat in the Premier League because we'd quite like to have a good season and win that again. Um, and also, in our ongoing hunt for trophies, we face Bayer Leverkusen in the European Super Cup as well in today's episode. So, first up, the team for the game against Liverpool. If you missed the transfer special yesterday, oh, we signed so many players. You'll have to go back and watch it. Loads, loads of transfers, loads of them. But it is a, uh, a very familiar look to the team that's going to be taking on Liverpool. The only change from the t from the Community Shield team is that Arango is now fit to come back in and play. And um, we're still missing Addo, who's away at the Olympics, Mendoza, who's still injured, and of course Jusper, who is big boy injured and has done his cruciate ligaments. Um, Arango's only fit to play seventy five minutes, so Foose is down on the bench and will come on during the course of the game. But the team to face Liverpool and hopefully secure an early win and get three points ahead of them before the season gets going. Um, we've got Beagles in goal, a back four of Giladucci, Da Silva, Diaz and Arango. Benia at the base of the midfield, Steinman and Lubinkovic ahead of him and then Cook, Domenico and Sermi Tarsanajaki are our front three. Let's get into the game. Liverpool have spent big this summer. They won the Premier League but obviously had their Champions League disappointment and they have spent big. Us, on the other hand, We've sold £90 million worth of players and <laughs> and messed up an £80 million transfer for a defender who would have been a big difference maker but now joins us next summer, you know, after I leave the club. But hopefully us having a settled team means we're going to be in for a good season because we don't, theoretically, we're not going to need to spend loads of time getting this bunch of players used to playing with each other because it is the same players in the same tactic that's just won the Champions League last year and come very close to winning the Premier League. The vast majority of this team are the same team who won the Premier League the year before. So we've got, we had a very young team when we won the Premier League. They're now all two years older. They're pretty much all still here. They're two years better. I think we've got to, we've got to fan, fancy our chances a little bit, although Liverpool with a big, deep, free kick and it ends up going just over. I think Beagles has that covered. I don't think, I, I, unlike last season when Beagles had to start the season in goal, I'm not worried anymore. He's played loads of games for Wales. He didn't let us down in the Champions League final. Michael Beagles is a good Premier League goalkeeper now. And I think if we still had Mazzino or Bakita at the club, I think Beagles, Beagles would probably be our first choice keeper at this point. It's only the fact that Mendoza is one of the best goalkeepers in the world that he, uh, he manages to keep Beagles out of the team when he's fit. But obviously he's not fit at the moment. So, Beagles taking another opportunity for some Premier League game time. Let's have 10 minutes of passion. We want to win. A draw is no good. This is our home game against Liverpool. They'll be banking on winning the reverse fixture. So, we need to be, we need to be sorting ourselves out in this one. Um, Serna Jackie, Cook, Domenico, none of them really playing very well. To be fair, neither Steinman, Labinkovic. There's lots of changes that could be made. I'm going to bring Calder on. On for Serna Jackie, and I'm going to bring Soma on for Cook, and they'll do as a first couple of changes, and we'll review from there as needed. I'd like to demand more, 
But I think I just asked for passion, didn't I? There you go. We'll demand more from here and hopefully have a have a late goal in us from somewhere. Um, final change. I think we're going to bring Brazenio on in midfield, who has had a very good Copper America this summer, but did miss the decisive penalty in the uh, in the Community Shield. Last weekend at Wembley, Beagles with a fantastic save and Arango clears it. That was Liverpool's big chance to go ahead in this game at Milky Nook. I think we're setting a record attendance here at Milky Nook, or at least equaling it. It's absolutely sold out. I don't know if we've done that for a league game before. Um, but Beagles with a fantastic save. He knows that he's earned us a point there today. But ultimately, we've got to do better. That's twice in a row we've not been able to beat Liverpool. It's a worrying precedent. Now let's go and win some silverware and have a look at our big money summer signing playing for the opposition. So European Super Cup day, we have brought a couple of our regulars back in. Mendoza comes back in in goal. Um, yeah, he's fit to play the full game. And um, Addo comes back in the midfield as well. Addo might be a little bit of a problem this year. He wanted to join Barcelona in the summer. They made a £70 million offer for him or something ridiculously low. We paid £110 million for him. I told him and them it would be £150 million or he stays. They withdrew their offer. He got a grumpy on. So I hope he isn't going to cause a problem. He's got three players who agree with him. Nixon, Burke, Beagles and Agostino. All dispensable if, uh, if he's going to cause a problem. But hopefully he'll pick up some silverware here. And remember, he wants to be at Bourne after all. So let's submit this team. Who's getting a squad number? Oh, Agostino's getting a squad number. There you go. He gets the number 13. And hopefully, we can pick up a win. I pick up another trophy. And um, we've not actually won a game this season. We've played Liverpool twice, drawn twice. So nothing to panic about yet. They are the best team in the country. And um, But all eyes on this guy, the number four, Delic. Or Delic. He is the uh, he is the player we've just we spent our entire transfer budget on this summer. But somehow have it set up so that he's arriving next summer. I still don't understand how I've done it, but we want to keep a close eye on him and uh, see what we've spent our £78 million on. This is likely to be the only time you see him play a game in the series because unless the World Club Cup goes beyond the 1st of July and we're able to register him for the squad, he isn't going to play in that. Cerner Jackie now wins the ball back inside his own half and he's off on a long run. Cerner Jackie loves a European final and there's his second goal of the season and it's another wonder goal from Sermita Cerner Jackie, very similar to his first goal from the Champions League final. He's just picked that up so deep. He's won the ball himself. He's then run two thirds of the pitch and scored an absolute beauty. I have a question. Why has he got hair when he's playing but he's bald in his player pick? It's always been the way, and I've never mentioned it before, but I find it a little bit troubling. It's like he wears a wig to play, which <laughs> I can understand him wearing a wig when he's not playing, but he wears a wig when he's playing, unless he, unless he plays in a hat, I guess. He wears a beanie whenever he's on the pitch, or some Lego hair, or whatever it is. Either way, very unusual hair situation for Sir Mita Sen and Jackie, but he's one of the best players in the world, so we'll let him do whatever he wants with his hair. He can, he can have hair, he can not have hair, he can have inside-out hair. No one really cares because he's Sami Tarsena Jackie. And we are, thanks to his goal, heading towards half-time. One goal to the good. Cook having another poor game. I'm a little bit worried about Cook. He's not played well yet this season. And I do wonder if the lack of any kind of competition for him on that left-hand side has caused him to relax into his role a little bit too much and not feel the pressure of having Ricardo and Jusper there pushing for pushing for his spot. Maybe we need to give Soma a couple of games starting out there just to send the message to Cook that he's not guaranteed to start. There are players who can play out on that left wing. Cerner Jackie's running from deep again. Not as special this time. Weirdly, we've had more people turn up for this European Super Cup final than we had go to the Charity Shield final. Clearly, far fewer people. We've been to so many community shields, nobody cares about it anymore. Bourne fans are saving their money up for this one which I'm guessing, I don't even know, what, is that Spain or Portugal or somewhere that doesn't do English writing for their stadium names? Estadio makes me think it's Spanish, but that could just be me being wrong. Let me know down in the comments whose ground are we playing at for this, uh, for this match, and I'll go, of course we are. I'm, I genuinely have no idea. I've never heard of this place. 
No idea. Right. Delich hasn't had a particularly good game for them, which I assume he's anxious. I assume it's because he knows that we've got to beat him. He let Serna Jackie run past him because he knows what's good for him. We, this is our this is my only opportunity to win this trophy. Right, we're going to bring Soma on on the left as threatened. Um, and we're also going to bring Agostino on up front. To uh, It's not his debut because he did play back in the first season after he signed for us. But get a wonder kid up there. Why not? Um, he misses, loses the ball immediately. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dearie me. He's only back in this squad because we sold Christian Gomez. So there was kind of a, a gap for a fifth striker in our one striker squad. <laughs> he probably should have let him stay out on loan for the year and just kept this role for Sebastiao. Um, Arango's done very well there to not let their player get in behind him. Ball forward to Somu, brings it down nicely. And then he also loses out on the ball. The two strikers who've come on, they're not holding the ball up very well, are they? And that is a very, very good goal for Bayer Leverkusen. Mendoza, I can't blame him for it. Yes, he's been beaten at the near post again, but it is an absolute... An absolutely uh, well-hit monster of a strike. Let's have a little look at it from this angle, just to see how cleanly this is hit. And yeah, I mean, he he'll probably has a right to be disappointed with himself, but I don't think I can be disappointed with him for letting that one sneak past him. Right, let's. We've got to take Arango off. Where's Foos? Foos is down there. Arango needs to come off because he's uh, he's not fully fit. Can we make another change in this game? Is this Another glorified friendly? No. Hopefully it's not going to take us to extra time because that's stupid. We don't need extra time at this point of the season, especially if we're not able to make another substitution. Addo's nervous. He wants to be nervous. I'm in a mood with him because he's disrupting the squad. We've not won a game since he started getting grumpy and I am worried it's him. Um, time for everyone to dig in. Can we make another change now? Let's try again. See if we can get Brasenio on. We can. Can we make a fifth change? Probably not. No. Right, Brasenio is on, though, for extra time. Let's demand more, and let's let's hope today's the day Brasenio shows me that he is an attacking midfielder. After all, Soma wins the ball back nicely on this left-hand side. He's trying to do a reverse of what Serna Jackie did, but unfortunately, because he only has a left foot and he's cutting in from the left... Whereas Serna Jackie was cutting in from the right, he didn't have the same angle on his shot to be able to put any kind of oomph behind it. And it was fairly tame and straight at their goalkeeper. Second half of extra time. Now, there are some tired legs out there on both sides, but we need one big final push. We're demanding more. Can we grab a winner? Or is it going to be our second penalty shootout in two days? Here we go. This is the final chance. Serna Jackie with the in-swing. And De, De Silva's there. I thought it was Diaz. It's been... How? How can it possibly be offside? How does he get himself offside from a free kick? I don't understand. It's so close. De Silva's got to do better than that. You can't be getting yourself offside from free kicks. Ridiculous. And it's penalties. And this time it's Mendoza. We had Beagles in for the penalty shootout yesterday in the Community Shield. Uh, Mendoza, supposedly a world-class keeper. I think Beagles saved two penalties. Let's see how many Mendoza saves. Um, it's going to be Bonilla to make it 1-1 at the start of this shootout. Bonilla doesn't score. This season isn't starting the way it was supposed to start. I can imagine the Bourne fans grumbling already. Sold three regular players. Three, sold three of my favourites. Didn't spend anything. What's going on at this club? We we achieved our goal and now we're not investing anymore. That's that's exactly what's happened. Serna Jackie does save his penalty. The keeper does save, score his penalty. The keeper got a hand to it, though. Serna Jackie's lucky he hit it as hard as he did. Right? I guess it's not luck. He deliberately hit it as hard as he did. But if he hadn't have done, it wouldn't have made it past that goalkeeper. 3-1 now to Leverkusen. And Soma must score to keep us in there. Well, not mathematically, but I'm just, I, I worry for him in the comments section. I really, I really do. Soma, come off social media for a few days, for goodness sake. Um, it's 3-1 now. Mendoza's got to make a save. Or well, we've made this far too easy for Bayer Leverkusen. And we've got, we are a bit, it's delicate, right? The transfer's off. 
We're going to be paying him £200,000 a week. The transfer's off if you score here. Just kick it at the corner flag. Ridiculous. Look at him celebrating. The little turd. He's on the transfer list the moment he arrives. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Aggressive. Not happy. We haven't won a game in three yet this season. And tomorrow we face... In fact, we don't do that tomorrow. My next game is going to be against um, Christian Gomez's Burnley. Has he scored for them yet? No, not their best player, is he? That's interesting. Um, Christian Gomez, who... Of course, he scored and got a man in the match on his first game. Shut up, all of you. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Right, we'll be back for Champions League games tomorrow. We don't know who we're playing yet, but that's what we'll do. Champions League games, because Gomez can't score in the Champions League, so I don't have to hear it. He's gone now. There's nothing we can do about it. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.